Hello everyone and welcome to Cat Scratch Kitchen. Today we're going to make the rival to the A1 sauce that we made last week, Heinz 57. Ready to get started? Well grab your apron and let's cook. Okay, to begin with, we have to make a raisin puree. And then to do that, we're gonna take a third of a cup of raisins and a third of a cup of water in your food processor, or if you have an immersion blender, whatever. This will make it easier because it's gonna mix it all together for us and grind it up. Now I'm just gonna scrape it down a little bit. Now we're making more than we need just because in the food processor, in order to mix it well, we're gonna to have to have at least this much in there. So we only need a quarter of a cup of this. So the rest of it, if you wanna make another batch, you have enough for another batch. You can store it in the fridge and it's fine for another batch. Okay, I've got a quarter of a cup of our raisin puree in here. Now we wanted to puree it until it was smooth. This is not real, real smooth, but what I can do at the end is go ahead and hit it with the immersion blender if it doesn't go ahead and dissolve pretty much in the sauce. Now we're gonna add all of our ingredients to the pot at one time. It looks like a long list of ingredients, but it really comes together pretty fast. This is a cup of tomato paste, and then two thirds of a cup of rice wine vinegar. I've got two thirds of a cup of plain white sugar, half a cup of water, a tablespoon of mustard, just regular yellow mustard, two teaspoons of apple juice concentrate, one and a half teaspoons of salt, a teaspoon of oil, I'm just using canola oil, you want something that's fairly bland a teaspoon of lemon juice, and then we have a half a teaspoon of onion powder, a quarter teaspoon of garlic powder, and an eighth of a teaspoon of turmeric. Now we just want to whisk all this together and bring it to a rolling boil and stir it the entire time until it comes to that rolling boil. Okay, you can see we've reached that rolling boil stage. Now we're gonna reduce the heat and just let it simmer for 30 minutes or until the sauce really thickens. It's fairly thick right now, but we want it a little bit thicker for our sauce. We've let it simmer for 30 minutes, nice and thick. And then I let it sit for another 10 minutes so that it could cool down a little bit. Now I'm just gonna put it in a bottle so we can store it in the fridge. You wanna let it sit for at least 24 hours before you use it because it allows those flavors to all mingle together. Now I'm just using an old ketchup bottle that I'm recycling to store our Heinz 57 in. I'm gonna take a funnel so to make sure it gets in the bottle. And we're just gonna pour it in. Perfect on grilled steaks, slathered on burgers, used as a dip for your fries, or even drizzled over roasted veggies. It's like a flavor symphony in a bottle. And there you have it. We've journeyed through the saucy universe, exploring the secrets of Heinz 57 and the regal allure of A1 steak sauce. Remember, life's too short for bland food. So go ahead, dip, slather, and savor. And hey, why not try both? Will it be tangy complexity of Heinz 57 or the sweet sophistication of A1? As always, the recipe is just below the like button as well as a link so that you can print it out. And thanks for joining us today. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. And until next time, have fun in the kitchen.